Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, guess what? I wholeheartedly welcome you. Do me a favor, please review the full video. Leave me a comment, like, thumbs me up, guys, and then share, because guess what? Sharing is caring, right? Yes. And after that, please go below, subscribe to the channel, and that notification bell so that you can be notified of my fabulous videos when they are uploaded. Welcome to Meatless Monday, y'all. And today I am making a vegan chili. And this was a request by the beautiful The Crockett Way. So here's to you, sis. I am making the vegan chili. What I am doing right now is I'm about to put these pinto beans. In the South, we call them pinto beans. They've been soaking overnight. I'm gonna put them in the boiler. I'm gonna season them up and cook them until they're tender. And while they're being tenderized on the heat, I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to saute the original veggie crumbles, boca. Now normally I use Morningstar, but this time I'm using boca. And then I'm gonna saute the red pepper. I have a tomato and I have onion, onion, onions, remember? And then I have garlic. Can't go without the garlic, guys. And then I am going to add my special seasoning, yes. Okay, so when all of this is ready to go into one big pot, then your girl's gonna put some sauce to it, which is my special made canned tomato paste and tomato sauce. All compliments of my garden, yes. So yeah, just hang in there with me. We're gonna get all this stuff fixed up for you. And again, you know, this is Meatless Monday, and this is gonna be tasty. So I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, guys. Time for me to cut up these onion, onion, onions. And remember, I talked to you about the lemon. Just put that lemon juice. I take a whole lemon, about half a lemon, and I just slather it on the cutting board. And from there, I can cut up that onion and get not one tear in my eye. Yes. So that's what we're doing now. Oh, God. And this other half is going in some water or some hot tea. Yes. Okay, no more tears. I chopped up this onion, half of an onion, because I'm making a small chili, and the garlic, no tears. Got my red peppers. These are all going over to the cast iron skillet to be sauteed, and then we will put the boca veggie crumbles, and then we're ready to keep it moving. Okay, that's the garlic, the onions, and the bell pepper that's sauteing, and then I'm gonna place those vegetable crumbles in the pot mixed with some seasoning. But I just wanted to bring your attention over here to the pinto beans. They have been tenderized by cooking and I'm gonna drain them off and then I'll mix all of the ingredients together, including my homemade canned tomato paste and tomato sauce. And then this thing is gonna be ready for the table soon, guys. Okay guys, I wanna draw your attention to the boca veggie crumbles. Now don't that look like ground beef? Why you need ground beef, guys, when you got boca or morning star? Yes. Okay. And may I apologize too, because I don't want anybody to IG me or Facebook me or whatever saying, why it gotta be ground beef? Okay, so ground beef, ground turkey, whatever. Why you need that when you got the vegetable crumbles? And that's all the purpose of Meatless Monday. Okay, so these are all sauteed and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of my special seasoning. See, some of y'all buy that season pack that's from the store that says Chili from that company that don't pay me money. I'm not gonna call the name. But uh, yeah, I make my own seasoning. Yes, 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 yes. Have an herb garden, you can make all you want. All right, so that is ready to be added to the pinto beans. And then my sauce, and then it's ready for the table, baby. All right, guys, got those crumbles in here with these pinto beans. And I'm mixing it up. And then with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my special sea sauce over it. Yes, look up there. Oh, yes. 
perfect, perfect, perfect. Season perfect. Got your garlic, your onions, and your bell pepper in there. You know your girl likes color. Yes. Look how rich that looks. I'm going to put some more of my sauce over it. Once you taste the sauce, you don't want nothing else. Put a little finishing touches on it and I'll be right back with you. Okay, and what is chili without some cheese, right? So I'm gonna use this vegan. It is soy-based, dairy-free, cheddar shredded cheese. Hey y'all, it's your girl and I'm here to share my meatless Monday with you, yes. So today, at the request of the Crockett Way. Hey sis, I am actually making a vegan chili for you guys. It's all done, I showed you step by step what I did, so now you get to see the finished product. So, here we go, here we go, here we go. Did we miss the show? That is what it looks like. Yes, that is the vegan chili. Mm-hmm, smell the aroma. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we got that. But who eats chili without having some fantastic toppings? Like tomatoes, chopped up a tomato. Then you got your onions, also known as onion-onion-onions. Onion-onion-onions. With the lemon on the cutting board so it will not tear you up. And then, yes, here's your girl's favorite. Right here, bam! Jalapeno peppers. Can't do it without. So, just wanted to go over a few things with you, too, to let you know. Uh, I did not use canned goods. I did not use processed food other than the bokeh because it was processed. But, lo and behold, when the season come in and all my veggies are coming in good, I can take that dehydrator out, suck it out, and I can make my own crumbles, right? Yeah, I can't wait, can't wait. So... With that being said, I used also all my special seasonings. I can my own tomato paste, my salsa, my beans. I can a lot because, yeah, in times where it's a struggle, I don't have to worry about it. Guess why? Because I have food saved up. Y'all need to get on that train and do that. So I am going to show you guys how I do my canning uh, from my salsa to my peas, my beans, my spaghetti sauce, tomato paste, chicken noodle soup. It's a it's a task. I can't do it all at one time like they used to do back in the day. God only knows how they did it. They spent days and hours and weeks and months and Sundays canning things. God rest in peace my ancestors because they did it. But guess what? I don't have to worry about doing running out of food. Guys, take heed to that. So anyway, I am going to get started here and Let's try this out here. Look at that cheese. I'm melted high tea. Uh-huh. Yes, indeed. Look, 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 look. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You can add more cheese to it if you like. Um, I garnish it off very well. It looks tasty. The aroma is there. Oh, have mercy. And I only made a small container today. And let me tell you, let me tell you. I'm going to sprinkle a little tomatoes on the top there. Not a whole lot. Just um, just a little something, something to show y'all what I'm eating here. And I got to put my onion, onion, onions on there. Right, 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 right. I ain't got to worry about nobody kissing me today with that onion. Yeah. And then my thing, my jalapeno peppers. Yes, Lord, yes. Why'd you do it to us? You made it to us. So, but yeah, I'm going to... Um, Go over some things with you too but before i dig in i gotta go in here we go heavenly father thank you for this food that i'm about to receive for the nourishments of my body thank you lord for all the continued blessings that you lay upon this household my health my wealth and this world it is in your son's name jesus christ that i am praying and thanking you that i cannot thank you enough hallelujah amen love you okay guys so here we go we're gonna go in now you know the thing i did not put on the table was hot sauce 
Didn't need it because guess what? My special seasoning has that cayenne pepper in it. Yes, so this is gonna be hot. So let's dig in here. So what I did also, got me a little crackers here. I don't do crackers, but just for the for the garnishment, I gotta show y'all the whole presentation, right? So with that being said, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is good to go. Okay, going in. Here's to you, the Crockett way. There's that chili. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. The aroma and the taste. Here we go. Y'all better be thumbs up this live because this here is the bomb. Mm. Mm-hmm. Get some with this jalapeno pepper on it. You know I can't go without that. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
I think that was all that I really had to say about this wonderful meal. So I hope you guys try it the Crockett way. I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you guys all enjoy it. Please be sure to um, give me some comments. When you write the comments, tell me what you want, what you'd like to see me cook because the whole idea is for me to be able to get you guys to eating more meatless things. And if you start small and just gradually grow it, you won't, your family really won't even know. And the thing about being a vegan and eating food that is veganized is the seasoning use your seasoning to your advantage. Start an herb garden. You can do an herb garden on the inside if you don't have a, a, a porch or a deck that you can do it on, or you can put them outside, but just start your own herb garden. And you can really do a lot. So I'm not gonna hold you long, so just please remember, give me some comments. Let me know what you would like to see me make that's vegan. And I can compare vegan versus um, regular food. So just leave me a comment. So with all that being said, I'm going to pronounce to you and say cheers. Strawberry lemonade is good. Make sure you leave the comment. Thumbs me up, thumbs me up, guys. Share because sharing is caring, right? Yes. And then go below, subscribe to the channel, and that notification bell so that you can be notified of my fabulous videos. Until next time, which will be on the Esther Friday. Thank you again for joining me on Meatless Monday. See you next time. Love you long time. Bye-bye now. Hey, I guess your girl is not gone after all. Please, after my premiere, go over and check out the premiere of Adrian Cooking and Food Review. Give my brother a look. He's great. He's cooking some good stuff tonight. Thank you. Bye-bye now.